In this video, we are going to learn more about the seven load balancing algorithms. I will try to explain each one of the load balancing algorithms in simple terms. 1. Round Robin Round Robin is a simple and widely used load balancing technique that distributes incoming traffic evenly across multiple servers. In this method, each server in the pool receives an equal share of requests in a cyclic manner, regardless of its current load or capacity. For example, imagine you have three servers, A, B, and C, and you receive five requests in total. Roundrobin would distribute those requests as shown on the screen. 2. Weighted Round Robin In Weighted Round Robin, each server is assigned a weight value based on its capacity or processing power. A higher weight value means the server can handle more requests than the others. The algorithm distributes requests based on each server's weight value with higher weighted servers receiving more requests. For example, if server A has a weight of 2 and server B has a weight of 1, then for every 3 requests, 2 requests will go to server A and 1 will go to server B. 3. Least Connections The least connections algorithm directs traffic to the server with the least active connections, making it ideal for scenarios where request processing time is unpredictable. It ensures that each server is utilized equally as new requests are routed to the server with the fewest connections at that moment. For example, if server A has three connections, and server B has two connections, then the next request will be sent to server B. 4. IP Hash IP Hash uses the source IP address of the client to determine which server in the pool should handle the request. Requests from the same IP address are always sent to the same server, ensuring session persistence. For example, if a client with any IP address makes a request, the IP hash algorithm would use this IP address to determine which server should handle the request. In the example, we have two servers with the IP addresses range defined as shown. In our example, server B is assigned to handle that request as it falls within a specific range. Now, based on our algorithm, all subsequent requests from that IP address will be sent to server B. 5. Least Response Time The least response time algorithm sends new requests to the server with the shortest response time, making it ideal for scenarios where minimizing response time is crucial. The algorithm periodically checks the response time of each server and sends new requests to the server with the shortest response time. For example, if server A has a response time of 100 milliseconds and server B has a response time of 50 milliseconds, then the next request will be sent to server B. 6. Random The random algorithm selects a server at random from the pool to handle each request. It's a simple algorithm that doesn't take server load or response time into consideration, making it ideal for scenarios where the workload is evenly distributed across servers. For example, if you have three servers, A, B, and C, and you receive five requests in total, the random algorithm would distribute the requests in a random order as shown. 6. Consistent Hashing Consistent hashing is a technique that maps each request to a server based on a hash function that ensures that the same request is always sent to the same server. It allows for dynamic scaling of the server pool as adding or removing servers doesn't significantly impact the mapping of requests. For example, if you have three servers, A, B, and C, and you receive five requests in total. The consistent hashing algorithm 
would distribute the requests based on the hash value of the request, ensuring that the same request always goes to the same server, even if a server is added or removed from the pool. Load balancing is a critical aspect of maintaining high availability and performance in distributed systems. There are various load balancing techniques available, each with its strengths and weaknesses. Round robin is a simple and widely used technique, while weighted round robin allows for more efficient utilization of server capacity. Least connections ensures that each server is utilized equally, and IP hash ensures session persistence. Least response time prioritize servers with the shortest response time and random distributes requests evenly across servers. Finally, consistent hashing enables dynamic scaling of server pools without affecting the distribution of requests. Choosing the appropriate load balancing technique depends on the specific needs and requirements of the system. By understanding these techniques, performance testers and system administrators can effectively optimize their system's performance and availability.